Hey everybody, just a quick review on this new Isheen E52-TX pocket drone. And it's a pocket drone because it folds up. This is the box that it comes in. And let me show you the drone itself. I have everything out of the box. Here is the drone. It's a really cool... It's kind of like a reddish burgundy color. And the blades pull out like this. like that it's a very nice color and this is kind of like a smooth velvety feel but anyway on the front here we have the camera and I'll zoom in on that you can tilt it forward or downward depending on what you're filming and also the battery on this one comes in a casing and is very easy to put in and out now I have the Ishin E50, which is the earlier model, and I'll show you that right here. And this one we love too, but the difference between this one and the other one, well this one has white and green in the front, but this one has, the battery is way easier to put in, and also this one comes with a controller which makes things really easy to fly and I'll show you that in a video in a minute but uh, let me go over some of the other things on this so what comes with this we have uh, two instruction manuals uh, one's pretty much a quick start guide and this one is more detailed on the app that you can download and uh, control the copter with either the app or the controller that comes with this now the controller itself takes four AA batteries and it's super easy to control with this. Uh, some people like the app, some people like the controller. I like the controller, it's more easy. But anyway, the battery comes in this casing and to charge it, you just plug this in here, plug this into the USB on your computer and it charges up in a couple hours. And uh, this copter comes with a, a blade puller, which the E50 doesn't, and I was just using a fork to pull off bad propellers, but yeah, this is a nice tool to have. It comes with it. I'm glad they included it, and it comes with uh, four extra propellers, and uh, like I said, yeah, the uh, battery is so easy to put in compared to the E50. Any kid could do it, and um, I'll turn it on here. See, it's searching for the signal from the uh, controller. And we have the green on the front. And on the back, there's a little red LED flashing. So um, I guess that sums it up for uh, now. And we're, let's go take this flying because I'm not going to waste your time. You just want to see how good this works. And it does work good. So uh, let's go outside. Ready? It's kind of windy. Take it. Whoa. Wait for the wind. Yeah, wait for the wind to stop. Okay. Whoa, almost in my face. Very nice control. Take off. Kind of windy out here and it's handling it.
very nice. That is fast. That is going crazy in this forest. <laughs> it's cool. Take off. Whoa, trim that tree. Whoa, coming back through the trees. Easy to control on this one. <laughs> coming back through, whoa. Here we go. Very good. Here comes the wind. Going away. Going way out there. Touchdown. Well, as you saw there, the quadcopter flies pretty stable, and you have great control over it. This is what the controller looks like with the cell phone mounted to it, and it's not going to shake loose anywhere, no matter what you do. And this attaches just with a quick clip, very easy to take in and out. And also what I wanted to say is that with the Isheen 50, they use the same blades, so if you want to get different colored blades, because these are all black, but maybe you want to put two whites on one side or uh, two greens on one side just to tell what direction your quadcopter is going. But yeah, this is a very nice copter. You saw it in the video, we were weaving in and out of the trees, and um, very easy to use. We only used one battery to film all that, and that's how fast we learned it. So, I give this five stars. It's a nice little copter, easy to control, especially with a controller. So, I hope you enjoyed the review. Take care, everybody.